Oh, this is Paul. Um, decided to do a video on a Kawasaki uh, Kawasaki supercharged jet ski. It's an Ultra 260. Um, story is I bought the Kawasaki 250X. I didn't buy it, I swapped it for something else. Um, the other thing was in the way, so I wanted something a bit smaller to have have a look at, uh, pulled the engine apart and found some quite bad damage, which was... Basically that uh, piston let go, um, as you can see in the bottom or something. Piston exploded, uh, major damage to all the engine, smashed all the oil pump up, smashed the bottom end, smashed the casing. <laughs> Um, could probably get it going, but like it's gonna cost a lot of money and bits to get that back together. So I decided to get another motor for it. Um, so I bought this one. It's a 260, the newer model of it. And hang on. yeah, and the engine on this has got a misfire on cylinder. What's that for? Cylinder four. Guy reckons there's a stuck valve on it. As everyone knows, stuck valve, it could be a dodgy cylinder, it could be whatever. Should do a leak back test on it now, but I'm just gonna pull it apart. Um, he said the valve clearance is massive on number four anyway. So pull it apart and see what we got now. So this'll be a time lapse. Um, I'll see yeah see what it looks like now i got no tools yeah all my tools are in work again now so um yeah i got random shit laying on the workshop old tools and stuff in that box there eh? see what we can do So far, um, taking off this cover, which is a couple of 10 mils, I think it is, four 10 mil bolts. The rear seat cover there, I think that's what's called. I don't know what anything's called on jet skis, by the way. Um, took the top of the exhaust off. That was just a couple of bolts. There's one bolt hidden underneath the underneath that little plate, the supercharger logo plate. Uh, and then exhaust manifold, one, two, three. There's one down here. See that one there? And that one. Should get like a swan neck spanner on it, but you can just about get a normal spanner if you put it all the way down. Just about hooks on. Good jam your hand in there, so. So that's that so far. We'll see if we can get it up. We'll carry on with time lapse. But um, well, I took the rock cover off. I was debating whether to just take the head off in the ski yourself, but no, nah, I'm just going to pull the motor out to have a look at it and get everything freshed up. Um, pull the exhaust off. There's a couple more bolts in there. Uh, these ones here, one. So you got stud, bolt, 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 and another stud. A bit of corrosion down the side there, so add some water. This engine has been out recently. Apparently, it had a build and then it had a sticky valve. Grab it, put it back together, just use silicone and everything. It's fucking shit. Just 
get some gaskets in it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to say for. This in a parts file. Probably pull that supercharger off next. That's your supercharger on it. Go for that. With the supercharger, I'm gonna have to remove. I'm gonna have to get the belt off. And there. Do with the mountain bolt. Ah, oh, there's one. Mountain bolt in there, look. Let's probably take this bracket out of your way. Can't be too much over in there, anyway. That's catch can, I'll have to come off. That's your oil catch can. That's your the cooler. Um, that's pretty much off, anyway. So, bolt the catch can off. And we'll crack on with this supercharger. So that's the supercharger off. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Nothing to it really. There's two two mounting bolts on the front and two on the side, and then that's just attached to your air intake. Then so easy to show you them two and them two bolting into oh, bolting it onto the engine. It's easier to get that clamp off first. It was a bit of a pain to get out, but I couldn't get to it. It was spun around the awkward, awkward position. So, yeah, that's it. What's next? I think that intake. Probably best to take the intake off, I'd say. So I'll disconnect everything off. I'll take all the harnesses off next, I think. It's not really a harness, but there's not much to it. Take that throttle body off. Take the intake off. And it's not far off ready to come out. Yeah. Taking off the wiring, wiring, <laughs> <laughs> shop Liz, uh, just unplug the injectors, that's a, I think it's a manhole pressure sensor, it's a blue plug there, that runs down to whatever plug that is, I think it could be like a Crank sensor, maybe it's down that area at the front. And then I've unplugged the throttle body plug there, I think. And there's also that plug there. Don't know what that's what. <laughs> Unplugged. There's one down the back, and that's a spare. It's got a blank in it. 
So I'm gonna start on doing the, oh, obviously it disconnected the fuel rail as well. And these two plugs as well, which come on the front here. So the intake's off, um, sensor down there, we've got your start wire, and this little one here, that goes to the back of the mantle, maybe a temp sensor or something, I don't know, I guess. And then that was the one we took from the other side over this end. That looks like. I don't know. Don't ask me. So yeah, a couple more pipes now, and I think we're off. Um, we got this from top to bottom. That one goes. Front so that can stay on. And that goes. So that goes. Take that one off. And then we're almost ready to pull the motor out. Easy peasy. Something stupid I done as well. When I was taking that manifold off. Got these little washers, little stainless washers. I've actually dropped one down there. In the third cylinder. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Mark the crank. Make sure we don't turn it until we get that washer up. Just put a little mark there, and there. You don't want to be turning the engine over if you've got anything underneath the valves there. I literally pulled the pulled the manifold up, and that little washer just slid behind. Just heard it tapping in, so I looked for the washer and then guessed it was down there. I can feel it with my finger anyway. I'll just get a magnet and just scoop it up now. So, yep. Oh, that pipe there goes to the exhaust. Just there. And up to there. That one down there goes up to. Yeah, box, I think. And then that front one comes around and goes down to the oil cooler. So that one there, straight to the oil cooler. This top one from the oil cooler runs over there and goes to the. I think that's your water pump. And then this top one runs down back and goes, I don't know where that goes. Around the back of the intercooler somewhere, down there. Yeah, so I'll just take that off there. And I can leave the rest of them on and take them up with the motor.
So this bike here, yeah, tucked it up here, yeah, it comes around and then it goes to that one. So that's that one there. Eh? Just a reminder, and there's one more, one more plug. That one there, eh? the white one. And that goes there. Almost ready to come out. Just got the engine hoist. Bit of a pain in the ass because the trolley underneath it is too low to get the thing under. Get the jack under, so a bit of a monstrosity over there. But get in there. Just about to pull the motor out now. So yeah, it only took like maybe hour and a half, two hours to get the whole engine out. So it's, it's not hard to do. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I ended up taking that engine mount off because it was scuffing the side. Um, that one there. Eh? Ah, bloody oil line again. I'm jamming now. So yeah, um, engine out, I'm gonna clean up you know, get a nice tidy area, and then start stripping this engine down. So I'm gonna do a part two to this now, just the engine rebuild itself. Oh, engine rebuild, or oh, engine diagnostic, I should say. Hope, fingers crossed, we haven't got nothing wrong with the cylinders, and head isn't screwed like this thing. We'll have a look. Oh yeah, like and subscribe to the channel. I got a couple of bits on Land Rover stuff as well. So have a look, hit those like buttons and subscribe, yeah. We need some subscribers and then I can kind of, if I get up to a thousand subscribers, I can start making a lot more videos then. So let's aim for that one. Cheers.